So, no one's ever going to tell me or question me why would I ever have anybody on my show. I mean, you're allowed to send me messages. That's fantastic. But when I see stuff like that, I get really angry. Okay? I've been doing this for a long time. I've been talking about Doctor for a long time. I'm not going to have anybody... That's going to create groups on Twitter bashing me or my group. I built a lot of stuff up in this Doctor Who community. And I'm not going to have these little, young, keyboard warriors go out there and try to diminish my legacy or what's to come. I'm going to have an exchange. I'm going to have a talk. They could all block and run and formulate an opinion. At the end of the day, if you are a podcast host, you are responsible for showcasing every opinion there is. Not just your own. You've seen it throughout history. You've seen it on Johnny Carson, on David Letterman as talk show hosts, TV hosts, late night hosts, Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Kimball. We've seen in day to day time, Oprah, all these people that are hosts that they didn't necessarily agree with the guest, but they had them on for a reason. Oprah had people that wrote books on, she had maybe criminals, different things, people who have interviewed and had people on their show with different opinions, different walks of life. If you think for one minute, if you're that shallow, if you're that intellectually deficient, and if you think in this generation that that some, some of this generation don't think, if you're like that and you think that because I had someone on my show that stated his opinion, that his opinion's my opinion, you're an idiot. You're a lazy Whovian. You're an idiot, and you're a Hoovignenta also. Because as a host, you showcase different opinions. He may be against my show entirely, Doctor Who. And then I'll bring my opinion saying how I think they're wrong or not. But I showcase, I don't discriminate. Like these other people on Twitter, like maybe they play it safe as a podcast host and they're afraid to put people on, they're a little wimpy, right? They, they just are not good podcasters. You know, they're afraid of the different opinion because they might be defeated. So they just are scared and they run and they hide and they block and they don't want to have anything to do with that, right? They're afraid to go after the people they're mad at. So this guy and his group don't like my guest last night on the Real Who Means cast. And instead of just going after him, they went after me and my group. That goes to show what a bunch of peckers they are. What a bunch of losers they are. What a bunch of weaklings they are by going after me rather than the person they really want to go after because they're scared. So they go after me and they try to disrespect my group and you're not doing that. Okay? You're a nobody. You got your couple of minutes of fame with my interaction. But all your people running and hiding and blocking, good. And then you want to make it like, I'm threatening. Um, I've been on YouTube for over a decade. I built up my YouTube channel. You're the one that's threatening. You shared my name on Twitter. Bad mouth me without even talking to me. Without even knowing me. You bed mouth my group without even watching a podcast. You're the one that threatened. Remember that. Remember how you're trying to destroy what I do. You're trying to destroy my show. You're trying to destroy my legacy. You're trying to destroy my name, defamation of character against me. All because you're lazy and you couldn't watch the podcast and you got a little tweet from somebody that's saying, ooh, 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 made you sort of put this person on, and you just attack me. What does that say about you? 
But if you want to see the Twitter exchange, just go on Twitter and look at it. I'm not going to share this person's name or his friends. You can say what you want to say in life, and you, you, you can judge it for yourself, and you can say whatever you want to this person or me. That's fine. But let people know how they feel, how you feel. If you feel it was wrong this person did that, go tell them. Contact Twitter. Contact him. Create a poll, whatever. All right. I am spending way too much time away from gaming to listen to this nonsense with these lazy Yent Hoovian Yentas who are really not that great of Hoovians. They're like just pathetic Hoovians. Take care. Bye for now.